In this video we're going to replace worn out outer tie rod on Nissan Titan and we'll try to save the alignment much as possible. Let's get started. As you can see my vehicle is on a jack stand, wheels are blocked, make sure we're safe. Okay, let's check the tie rod, see it has a play and ball joints are good. Alright, and if you first time to the channel, please subscribe. Very appreciated that. There's my tie rod. Let's check the boot. Boot looks good. No cuts, no splits. But I know tie rod is off. I mean, it has a play. And seems like this is a 15 years old tie rod. Came from the factory. Okay, let's remove that wheel to get access to all components. 21 mil socket, by the way. Yeah. All right. Okay, I re place bunch of parts before here there will be the link how to do the strut how to replace the also uh, sway bar link connector stabilizer link I put a link down in the description check it out and today we're going to do the tie rod okay as you can see it has a play and uh, time for a new one before we'll go do alignment all right and I turn my steering wheel all the way to the left and that way we have more room to work. Let's spray a bit of penetrating oil, we'll make everything easy. Alright, let it soak and we have the size wrenches as you can see. And this is a 24 and a 21 for the tie rod. Alright, let's break that nut loose and that's it. You don't have to turn so far. Alright, now let's remove the pin. And uh, yeah, I'm using a wire cutter so it's easy to grab and pull it out. Sometimes it breaks, but you can take it out most of the time. Okay, let's clean all rust around the nut and threads. We're using a socket and let's take it out easy and uh, simple okay i got stuck but not a big of a deal all right now we are putting it not back and way i'm doing i don't want to damage any parts if you have to replace for example inner tie rod you need to save the outer you just screw the nut back and turn it a little bit back counterclockwise make sure you won't damage the threads and tap it with the hammer a few times and here we go got it and uh, even we're not going to reuse this tie rod but it's always better to remove everything without damaging okay let's pop it out boom got it easy as you can see it's tons of play and sometimes it's hard to tell because um, quite a bit of load and pressure on a tie rod and joint and yeah it's why it's good to lift it and check it all right let's remove our outer tie rod from the inner tie rod there is will be another video how to replace the boot but in this video we're not replacing the boot okay as you can see it's done it's worn out and uh, yeah we have to replace with a new one and I prefer tie rods with the grease nibbles okay as you can see our inner tie rod is still good it's hard it's stiff it doesn't have a play when you put it straight it will stay straight let's clean the threads and that one was replaced okay I'm using my caliper and let's measure how far that locking nut on those threads and that's our reference point to put a new tie rod and keep it wheel alignment keep it toe match as possible to the specs okay we're at 26.14 mil and that is very helpful it might not be perfect but it will be perfect enough to keep it close okay check it again when you're ready to put your tie rod back new one I'm using an auto market part. Pay attention to the part number 05 or 06 is for different size sides. All right, here's a puppy. Nice, clean, new, and it 
has a grease nipple. I like it and a 516 wrench or socket let's install the grease nipple that way you can keep it greased. Okay let's put it on and also you can count number of turns when you take it off you put it back you will know the number. A little bit clean up at the knuckle put a little bit anti-seize compound and uh, align the tie rod and with a hole and put it in yeah guys if you have a questions critics comments suggestions please put them down in the comment section below thank you so much for doing that and uh, we have a crown nut always started by hand make sure everything's going smooth okay here is a wrench let's tie it down and then we will go and torque it all torque specs everything you need for the repair i will put it down in the description below you can check it out also will be a few more interesting titan videos and uh, yeah check them as well all right it's snagged let's torque it to nissan titan manufacturing specs Okay, now we have to tie the locking knot. Here's the two wrenches, same wrenches. And um, yeah, let's tie it up. And uh, it's always good to double check everything before you put a tire. If you have something to maintain, like you have some ball joints to grease, check the bushings, check the ball joints, wear bar links, that's all there. Let's do the one or two pumps one pump is enough and yeah tire is back all tight all torqued thank you so much guys for watching very appreciate your time if you like it subscribe thumbs up if it's helpful that is awesome and more titan repair troubleshooting videos are coming up see you soon and bye bye